Hey everybody, it's a Bobo the Vulture. Hey, it's a Bobo -bo Bean. That's right, and this is Let's Play Together, <laughs> even though it's a one player game. Hot Tofu Boyfriend. Hurtful Boyfriend. <laughs> That's the end of fourth class. Mm. Now, of course, if they were on block scheduling, this would be the end. Right. I was on block scheduling in so high school, so I don't actually know how many periods a class is supposed to have. I have no idea. We had first period, second period, and then in third period, your lunch would be somewhere either at the beginning or they would split your class into two bits of 45 or uh, at the end because we didn't have enough lunchroom for all the students. Mm. Uh, my school was pretty well near its capacity. They were in the process of constructing a new high school. You are different from those peasants, Sukuya. You were chosen from the day you were born. You must remain conscious of this. Ald had seven periods. That sounds about right. And there were eight for those in the magnet program. Hmm. Oh. You are different from those peasants, Sakuya. You were chosen from the day you were born. You must remain conscious of this. Yes, father. Oh, it's tiny chick, Sakuya. Mm -hmm. We are the chosen ones. It is our duty to guide the foolish common folk. Yes, father. Look at them crawling in the mud. There is no value in their lives. Were it not for our compassion, they would die as miserably as they live. Yes, father. Their very blood is tainted. Their world is not yours. You must never speak with them again. Do you understand? Yes, Father. These are all different flashbacks. It's impossible to know who's who. <laughs> to Japan? Yes. You will be staying there for some time. Arrangements have already been made for your education. Remember, you must such as to bring honor to our family, Sakuya. Yes, father. Also, Dr. Iwamine is in residence at the institution you will be attending. He is a prestigious doctor. It would not be exaggerating to say that our current glory is in thanks part to him. Do not disrespect him. Yes, father. Mm. Angel saw Bean going into the infirmary yesterday and then the door was locked. The doctor and you, you must have seen her. What happened in there? They must both be lying. Hmm. Yuya's been helping us all this time, and I don't want to suspect him. But he's clearly been hiding the truth. Could Yuya be covering for the doctor? We don't know that for sure. The mongrel could be lying to cast doubt on Dr. Iwamine. It's not impossible, but from what we've seen so far... The most likely conclusion is they're working together. Sakuya, you were the one who said we needed to remove our biases. We need to solve this. I am aware. I want to go confront them now, but with only Angel's testimony, our evidence is a little weak. They'll probably slip out of it again if we go now. They're both much more eloquent than I am. They'll try to dodge the issue, which means we need to search the infirmary. Mm -hmm. You intend to go in without asking. Yeah. The more stealthily we do it, the better, right? <laughs> he will mean a with a bloody shoelace dangling from his beak. I swear to you, I haven't seen much at all since this happened. <laughs> If the doctor finds out, he'll come out with some way of stopping us for sure. Understood. 
I will go to the lab and keep him occupied while you search the infirmary. Thank you, Sakuya. In a moment, gentlemen. Mr. The Young. I have something for you. Sorry for being late. I was somewhat late. What are these? The first is the massive key. I keep it in my pants. It should open just about any of the simple locks in the school, and it is as bright and massive as its owner. The other is a stun gun. If you need to protect yourself, use it. You will have more use for those than I, Kawara. Hold on to them. Oh, man, are we going to be given an inventory mechanic? Like, three quarters or four fifths or 90% of the game through? Mm. Right, thanks, Mr. Leon. Maybe I should write in the notes before I go to the infirmary. Yeah, Novia, maybe it'll have a convenience. The hour of judgment has come. You cannot use the Dark Tree's power here. Return to the Void, Wallenstein. Well, he seems excited. <laughs> I wonder what the where the uh, I wonder what the doctor is doing. Being slandered by Mr. Gura, as you could see. Please stop breaking the school property, Mr. Gura. I have returned from Judeca to defeat you. As long as you live, Calamitius Sorcerer, Climate. the world yeah, whatever. <laughs> the world will be wrapped in eternal despair. When he says things with such conviction, I almost find myself believing them. Please, that isn't funny. <laughs> Yes, yes. Come on, Nagure. Let's go back to the gym, okay? No, stop. Do not throw me out like some wretched doll. I suspect he has suffered from megalomania since birth. Megalomania? Whatever do you mean? Delusions of grandeur. Issuing societal standards, he lives his life in the midst of some bizarre fantasy. <coughs> Perhaps it is genetic. There would be no helping him, would there? He's unusually active in the destruction of his surroundings, especially given his physique. Internal prejudice is a terrible thing, I suppose. He is no doubt at exerting to the limits of his capacity at all times. The most dangerous part of his ability to bring his surroundings into his fantasy. Though I'd seem to be less affected than you. And since... Although I invited him to the school, I have yet to find a use for him. The whole thing has been nothing but a waste of time. Th did you say something just now, Doctor? Mm, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> uh, no, J.B. Leon was not uh, described as sounding medieval. Uh, I forget what the description was, but he briefly showed up in Yuya's story, I think. So that so may be why you don't the original concept him. was have him sound derpy, and yes. then he turned Dandy into like and some derpy. And then he turned into the voice of uh, J.B. Leon that you know now. Yeah. Oh, nay. Excuse me. Well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> oh, uh, hello, Shiragane. What's going on? Where did Kawara go? He is investigating another area at the moment. Only Dr. Iwamine and Nageki are here now. Or, and well, Nanaki are here now. Uh oh. Oh, isn't Sakazaki here? I think he's walking around to calm his nerves again. He's very brave to be out and about with that scarecrow on the loose. Not brave, just imprudent. Stupid mongrel. Stop pretending to be a migratory and get back 
here so I can distract you. I want to occupy both of them if possible, but at least they don't realize that we suspect them yet. Just the doctor should be enough. Dr. Iwamine, I came here to ask you your opinion of something. My opinion? I fear I will not be of much use to you there. My, My body has never required me to visit the infirmary. I have not had much... Oh. I have not had much uh, occasion to talk to the doctor since moving here, but I can read his expression perfectly well all the same. Uh, so now our playable character is Sukuya. Yeah. It says, I'm not telling you anything. Where is Mr. Kawara? Did you have a falling out? He did seem to be suspecting me based on nothing but his own prejudice. Pity. I agree, sir. To doubt someone based merely on one's own preconceptions is belliverantness, sir. It is nonsense. That's right. I must be perfectly logical in all things. You are renowned to be uh, you are renowned as one of the most intelligent birds in the world, Doctor. I do not think that you could be involved in such a grisly crime as this. It is an honor to be so praised by the heir to the LaBelle family. Completely flat. Does he never speak with emotion? I hold a deep respect for you, Doctor. You might not be aware, but my father owes his life to your medicine. A few years ago, your work allowed the LaBelle family to continue on to even greater glory. Is that... So, I had not known. I am afraid that I know little of the fates of the drugs that I develop. Uh, the life of but one bird may not be significant to you, but we of the LaBelle family will never forget. Like elephants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how wonderful. I take it your father is a figure of great respect? Of course. The family head must always be honored. It would seem that you hold your own biases even more dearly than Mr. Kuara holds his, almost like the foundation of your very existence. <laughs> I would rather like to see the expression on your face when that foundation collapses. <laughs> oh, snap. <gasps> La has been locked ever since the alarm this morning. The doctor went straight to the lab to begin the autopsy, and I think he's been with some birdie else ever since. Let's see, maybe that massive thing Mr. Leon gave me will do this for the trick. <laughs> That'll do the trick. Stick your massive thing in there. Uh, Dr. <laughs> Leon already <laughs> gave it to me. Uh, yes! Oh, gosh. <laughs> This room has always been a little creepy, but it's even worse than this dim light. I need to look for evidence the beam was in here. Quickly! But where do I start? The longer I spend poking around in corners, the bigger the risk that I'll get caught. I need to remember. Try to remember the cut. I've been in here a lot every time I got sick. Where would the doctor hide something he didn't want anyone else to see? Didn't he forbid his, even his assistants from touching his desk? Cool. It would seem he keeps his drawers locked tight. But you have the key. You're up, massive <laughs> thing. You're up, massive thing. Indeed. That's a pretty heavy score. Insider, medical records? He's probably supposed to keep personal information locked up. Though I never really thought of him as the respectful type. There are only one, two, three... Four files. The names are Kawara Ryuta, Vulture Bean, Fujishiro Nageki. What is the alphabetizing on these? Eh. And Shiragane Sakuya. What? 
I'm not surprised to see a file on me in here, but being in Sakuya never had any reason to be in here. And Fujishiro Nageki. Looking closely, Nageki's folder says St. Pigeonation's Medical Center on one side while the others don't. And this date is from five years ago. When did he take this from the medical center? Uh. Since it's here, he must know something about the fire back then. Are the other three uh, records from physical exams? They're full of strange symbols and numbers, and I'm not sure what they mean. Huh? Sakuyas has a second piece of paper in it. Looks like some sort of memo or... Uh-oh. Ah. Yuya. A sudden blinding pain in the back of my head. It's Yuya. I can't move. I fall unconscious. Uh, uh. Where am I? I feel dizzy. Uh, that's right. I was looking for evidence in the infirmary. The medical records are gone. Somebody took them? I managed to get knocked out even with the stun gun Mr. Leon gave me. Dummy. Darn it. I don't know who attacked me, but those records must have been important to get stolen away like that. Ah, damn it. B darn it, you mean. Why did I ever let myself get taken from behind like that? <laughs> I had our records. Even with those, it would have been hard to prove anything. Whoever attacked me must have been the criminal. They probably wouldn't leave anything. Maybe they missed a clue in here somewhere? Huh? <coughs> I hadn't noticed earlier, but there's a card under the desk. In a corner, I wouldn't have seen if I weren't on the floor. This is... Being student ID. There's blood on the corner. So it wasn't dropped here by accident before she was killed. It must have happened in here. Mm. Looks like my doubts about the doctor are confirmed. But for some reason I still feel unsure. I almost feel like this is too good to be true. Like I'm being led along. If the doctor were behind it all... Surely he would avoid casting so much doubt on himself. What is he after, anyways? What are you after, Doctor? But I'm not worried about who's doing what and why. I'm worried about finding the one who did this to Bean. I need to talk with Sakuya. Hmm. So, you think it would be... It would take a fair amount of time to cut a human up like this and distribute them into boxes, Doctor. Correct. Even if she were cut up last night and distributed this morning, it would involve a good deal of physical labor. Sakuya? You again. Can we go to the maintenance room? We need to talk. Very well. Mr. Shiragane? Yes, Doctor? Uh, just as an aside, it would be impossible for one such as myself. Hmm. Even with the knowledge and tools of, of a physician? Even so, I am not a particularly healthy person. Hmm. Not a healthy person? The doctor is slightly impaired down his right side, you know. He is? I never knew. I was injured long ago. My right wing never fully recovered, though it rarely poses problems in daily life. A human corpse is heavy. It seems like a bit much to go dragging around with one wing, don't you think? Hey, think about the scarecrow. And he, Mrs. King. Yeah, he's got his right arm dragging on the ground, and he slices and dices. That's true, I suppose. So, I think maybe he made the scarecrow. Anything is possible. 
Yes, it's all true. It's even recorded in the faculty medical records. It is? I see. Thanks. I'll remember that. I'll tell Sakuya about what I found in the infirmary as we head to the maintenance office. That's true, Ald. He did cut up being in another uh, mm. timeline. So, but he didn't carry the body anywhere. Yeah, but the scarecrow would have done it faster. Well, if you think, oh, you think the scarecrow is some kind of murder tool? Mm-hmm. Well, I suppose. And she did. That's true, Novia. She kind of stopped there and let it happen. <laughs> oh, meaning Fujishiro Nageki's records and all the doc and the doctor have something to do with the medical center. I think so, yeah. I wonder about the other records, too. Why you, me, and Bean all together? Could that really be a coincidence? Did you go there often after you moved here or anything? Not once. No ability knows no illness. Yeah. Except your dad, apparently. I mean, uh, I've never seen him sick, and he always seems pretty lively. I had known about the doctor's injury. Kind of a bad thing to find out now. It's a pretty heavy score. Bad? Because it's inconvenient to your theory? We must remain just. No harm could ever come from learning more about the truth. Yeah, it's true. It is a lie that nobility knows no illness. Uh, inbreeding as caused by attempting to keep bloodlines pure is going to lead to more problems. I guess so. Maybe it's because he's not very active or because he never leaves the infirmary, but I guess I've never really had a chance to notice his disability. If he couldn't have done it alone, it makes it seem more likely that he was working together with Yuya. Blasted mongrel. No good can ever come of his presence. He merely confuses the issue. A salutations. Were you gossiping about me? Yuya! What the pickle? I guess I'm the topic of choice among the boys as well as the girls now. Not that I mind. Wink. Mm -hmm. A hum. Don't let it get to your head, Mongrel. We weren't saying anything good about you. That's right, Yuya. From your point of view, we were subjecting you to vile slander and ill gossips. You're very frank, Ryuta. Nothing wrong with that. What kind of slander? Um. There you go. Perhaps you shouldn't say, lest my fragile heart to shatter like a maiden's crystal glass, or drop the bond unkind lover. It should be obvious what we were talking about from our faces alone, but he's completely relaxed. I doubt his heart is made of glass, though. Used tires, maybe. What? Something that is completely impervious to abuse. The, your unsolic unsolicited presence saves us the trouble of looking for you. We demand answers from you. You lied. You met Vulture in the infirmary yesterday. Did you kill her? So, you doubt me. I'd love to see your evidence. We found her ID stained with blood in the infirmary. You are duty bound to answer. What did you see in the infirmary yesterday? And what did you do? Well, I... I can't tell you anything. Sorry. I can't say... anything at all. Cease this foolishness. You know something, don't you? Do not attempt to dodge the... Uh -oh. uh. Well, maybe he controls the scarecrow. <laughs> Run, you two! Such terrible time. No birdie likes a man who can't read the atmosphere, Mr. Scarecrow. 
Is this the type of jokes? Run, go! And they fly. Rayuda seems to have left us in the dust. Maybe we should hurry up a little. Well, it doesn't look like it's noticed us. I guess it's not too keen on the chasing people. Your idle flirtations sicken me. Especially since we're supposed to be brothers. Yes. Filthy mongrel. Shh. Do you want it to hear us? Hmm. How about this? I'll go first, and you lure Mr. Beanpole Man toward the cafeteria. Or I'll go first, and lure Mr. Beanpole Man toward the cafeteria. You head for the maintenance room while it's distracted, okay? You plan to act as a decoy. Don't think this will stop me from suspecting you. I wasn't asking you to. I've been your ally until now, so why stop now? Our ally? Anyway, run for it as soon as we're out of sight. Adieu. Fight Act Mercy item. Is that one of those games that I... Yep. <laughs> That's right, Beanpole Man. Haha! -ha. I don't think it knew that we were Bean. Sakuya, you're okay. I was worried that maybe you got caught. Indeed. Isn't Yuya with you? We never got him to answer anything. I do not know. He ran in the opposite direction. Hmm. We don't have much time left. I think the only thing to do is to get him to talk to us and then confront the doctor. He's been helping us this whole time, but I don't know if we can still consider him our ally. Our ally, indeed. You've always been separated, right? So you don't really know how he usually acts, or if he'd be likely to do something like this, or... How could I know? He and I live in different worlds. Oh, you live in a different world. Mm -hmm. As With my the father the said, genial, what? I couldn't know. I'm an only child, so I don't really understand siblings, but I think I know how you feel about them, Sakuya. Do not make me repeat myself. He and I have no connection. But I want to believe that he is not my enemy. Looks like Sakuya isn't entirely sure what to think. The prime suspects are the doctor who aided his family and his own half-brother. If I were given the same situation, I wouldn't be as calm as he is. We should write in the notes, then go talk to the doctor. Go find out exactly what happened in the infirmary. We figured out a lot of things, but there's still a lot that remains a mystery. It's 6 p.m. We don't have much time. Can we solve this and get out alive in only four hours? Are the four hours going to be in real time? <laughs> All right, let's go, Saku. Huh? Sakuya? Your friend already left, young one. Uh, wh why didn't you say so earlier? He's planning to confront the doctor alone. Father is of the pure bloodline, and so his life is of the utmost value. By extension, the doctor who saved his life must also be valuable. I must not disrespect him, because that is what father told me. My brother, born of a low father, is a worthless being. Though he looks normal, his veins flow with filthy, impure blood. I must not associate with those of low birth, because that is what father told me. But I am no longer sure. What is blood? What is blood? Blood, blood, baby, don't hurt me. Don't Why does it divide us so? Oh. Hello again, sure I got him. Uh, where is the doctor? He said he was going back to the infirmary. 
Maybe he forgot something there. Thank you. You're going right after him? Don't you want any tea? Well, be careful. Mm. He looked rather troubled. I hope he's all right. What is a bird? A miserable little pile of feathers. Doctor? But enough talk. Have I... Oh, Mr. Shiragani, you look quite fatigued. Would you care rest for a little while? <laughs> you... You are wrong, are you not, sir? Whatever could you mean? I wish to learn the truth. What did you and Sakazaki do? Which of you decided to kill Vulture? That's not something to say without proof, Mr. Shiragane. But then, we have but little time left. Perhaps I shall explain things to you. Uh-oh, am I gonna die? <laughs> I did not kill Miss Vulture. You're dead already, honey. Well, I know, but is Sakazaki going to get dead? This is the truth. Of course. How could I let myself be swayed by idle rumors? The doctor could not possibly carry out such an atrocity. It was Dong Zhuo. Mr. Sakazaki did not kill her either. Which raises the question, who did? Sakazaki admitted that he was involved in the crime. He cannot possibly be... I merely said that he did not kill her. I did not say he wasn't involved. Is that scarecrow? Of course, the same applies to myself. Ah, Novia suggests it might have been disease. Perhaps she wasn't resistant to the flu after all. Mm. Or maybe they developed a new flu. The two of you did not kill her, but were involved. But then, who did kill her? Oh, dear me. This won't do. What? Talking to you makes me feel like I'm about to fall asleep. I suppose these are the limits of a mere mongrel. What did he just say? Doctor, I... Could you be quiet for a minute, Mr. Shirogane? You bore me. You filthy, low-born mongrel. What? What are you saying, sir? I am not like sucker. You did well. Thanks to you, Mr. Kawara has found almost everything he needs. Just one more push, and he'll be done. Thank you, Mr. Shiragane. A glint of white steel. His left wing slowly traces an arc through the air. Told you. I'm dying. I'm dying. What did he say? Why was I left behind? I can't think. I think this is Nageki. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, wait, no. I'm dead? Huh? Zakazaki! Oh, you, you happen. Stop that, Isa. I told you not to touch my brother. What? Suddenly, Sakazaki Yuya blocks out the sun. Blood is spreading across the floor. I am unhurt? Who's... Your, your ring? Such a beautiful brotherly love, Mr. Sakazaki. You were the real hero all along, of course. I only promised that I wouldn't tell other people. Not that I wouldn't tell him himself. Or that I wouldn't kill him. And after all that work to steal the records from Mr. Kawara, too. Yeah, you've always been like this. A coward and a villain to the core. Ooh, such flattery. 
what are you doing, doctor? Why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> as as Sakuya is dying, his voice becomes less hoity-toity. Uh. <laughs> I told you, remember? You bore me. Now that you have helped Mr. Kawara as much as you can, I have no more use for you. Why should I put up with your babbling now that I'm done with you? I do not understand, sir. What did you and Sakazaki? This is exactly what I'm talking about. I have no responsibility to explain to you. Goodbye, Mr. Shiragane. No, don't move, Sakuya. Sakuya! Oh, Mr. Kawara. We were just discussing you. You, you stand there over Sakuya. Blood running down his body. The doctor standing next to them. This seems like the most intense, possible, dramatic, climactic moment of this entire series, and possibly of all st story style drama games. I'm getting so tired. I think it's time to call this one a video. Mm -hmm. And when we come back next time. Mm -hmm. Damn, but this has to be near the conclusion, doesn't it? I don't know. Is it? Maybe. I don't know. Well, I tell you what, that's going to be it for this video. Stay tuned for further Hatoful Boyfriend <laughs> next time. This is Bobo the Vulture. And Bean. And <laughs> this is Let's Play Autoful Boyfriend. Thanks very <laughs> much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, bye. Hurtful Boyfriend.